Hello guys, today we will talk about map method and how it differs in Ladesh library from native map method. So what for we need map method? If you need to create some array of values which will be created based on the existing array, then better to use map. When beginners just start programming, they usually use for loop for this and the code look like this. For example, you have an array of three values and you have new array, which is just empty array and you go with for loop and inside it you just pass in the new array items where each item is multiplied on two. If we will look now in new array, you will see that we have new array where all items are multiplied on two. But this is like a lot of code and uh, better to use map for this because it's much easier. So for example we have array from 1 to 3 and we want in new array to save our array and we use on it map where we pass the function and the argument will be item now inside we will just write return item multiply to um, r was with one letter and now if we will check new r we will get the same result but as you can see the code is much more readable we don't need for loop for this and all that we need is to apply map method on our existing array and pass function which will return what should i do with each item in this array and um, what the point of using Lodash instead of native map method like we used here? Because it's more flexible. Let's try. For example, we want to use map method. In Lodash all methods begins with underscore. And map method as first argument takes the array which we want to change. And the second argument is function again with item and inside it we just want to return item multiply 2 and we get the same result as before nothing special here the code is look like the normal one so no better approach here but uh, let's try another example we have map and we have the array but in this case we will have an array of objects with id and name for example id1 name pool and next object id2 name var and now we want to return all names of all objects so we just use return item.name and we will get here the array of strings where we have names of each object and uh, now we can optimize this code because it's quite big and here we have function as a second argument and all that we want to say is just take names so we can change it a little bit remove function and just provide string with name as you can see the code works the same and what you do here is that you use shorthand and um, you provide only the key what you want to get from each object so it's quite good because you don't need function and so on and what is also good about map in Ladesh that you can apply it on object because default map in JavaScript you can't apply an object and it will look like this sometimes you have object where you store data and you have key as a unique key of your entity here we have unique key 1 and here we have some user with name foo and we have 
here the other key where we have name bar. Sometimes it's easier to store data in object like here. And now we want to apply function again with item which will go here the item will be the value each uh, object and inside this function we will just return name item name like we did before and as you can see the result is the same we get names but in our case we get them in from the object which is a little bit different from array and Lodash in our case help us to work with object also not only with arrays as you can see here Lodash functions are more flexible and shorter so it's better to use them if you can